Hey, Chris Lipe here, singing without tension. I see the sky. want to be able to sing tension free and yet tension is one of those things that plagues every single singer sometimes it makes sense right tension creeps in when we're doing something challenging with our voice we're uh, working on part of a song that's uh, you know maybe a bit out of our range or we're trying to work on a new skill and we're we're trying to be conscious of tension but because it's challenging the tension creeps in it makes sense that we'd have to deal with tension there but where tension has really gotten me in the past, with vocals in particular, is when I'm doing something that I believe shouldn't be a big deal, and then after a little while of singing, I realize, man, I, this is weird. I, I, the whole you know, left side of my neck hurts, <laughs> which actually happened to me several years ago when I was in a background vocal session. I was in a group of three and we were laying down background vocals for a country style song. So these harmonies needed to be super tight. And I was doing the, the tenor line and I was thinking about blending with the, the girl I was singing with and the guy I was singing with and all the things that go into delivering a tight sounding background vocal, you know? And I started to notice after just a little bit that the whole left side of my neck was hurting. My voice felt fine, but there was this, this pain that went from, you know, here all the way down, you know, even into maybe part of my chest and my shoulder, this, you know, this area. And I, I reacted to it and I thought, oh, man, I, I gotta, I gotta get this done. I gotta relax and, you know, but because that tension was so present and my mind was focused on the fact that it was hurting, it actually started to affect my vocal performance. I had brought in muscles that I didn't need to be using because I was focusing so much on the music aspect. And that's where tension really gets us. Befuddled by this issue in the background vocal session, and also someone who struggled with chronic tightness in my back from exercising, mainly weightlifting, I started to think about things a little differently. First, in my workouts. Now, this is how I have been able to consciously identify and release tension in my voice. So stick with me, even if you don't lift weights, even if you don't exercise, stick with me here and I'm gonna show you a parallel between consciously and properly lifting weights <laughs> and releasing tension with your voice. This could potentially be life-changing and voice-changing for you because the same sorts of mind tricks that I've used to effectively exercise without tightening up and without that sort of chronic soreness that leaves your neck all, all tense all the time, the same stuff that I figured out there has helped me in my singing during challenging sections and things that shouldn't be challenging to make sure that I'm only using the muscles I need to use for my voice at any given time. Now in my vocal course, I lay out a complete practice plan for identifying and releasing tension. And I do this in the context of proper breath support and proper resonance. So if you need more help developing your voice and you want to take this whole tension-free singing thing further, be sure to click the link below and join my free vocal course. So as I was doing a workout years ago, trying to figure out why my neck was so tight, also having just come off a background vocal session where, again, my, ne my neck was all tensed up, I started to think about how I could lift the same amount of weight, so do the same thing, and use only the muscles that needed to be used to do the same amount of work. And I started to realize how much I was actually using other parts of my body and involving other muscles 
that I just didn't need to be involving. So I'm going to do this exercise here. If you have weights, you should try this with me. I'm just going to hold these right here. And as I'm doing it, I want to be very conscious about what muscles. So I'm not exerting any work other than holding these. I want to be conscious about what muscles are becoming slightly tired. What am I feeling? Well, I'm feeling some in my, uh, my trap muscles, feeling some in my shoulders, forward shoulders, and I'm feeling some in my back. And as I keep holding these, I'm going to start noticing that those particular muscles are going to get tired. But what I'm also going to start noticing is uh, that other muscles, as those muscles get tired, I will have the tendency to bring in helper muscles. We do this with our voice too. As we do things that are more challenging or we stop paying attention, we bring in things that don't need to be there to support and they actually end up getting in the way. Now, because I'd been holding the weights here for a while, and because these weights are kind of heavy, when I did that one rep, there were things that you know, shouldn't have been difficult, but because I was holding the, the weights there, I started to bring in the back of my neck. I started to bring in a little bit of the front of my neck. You probably saw it do that. I tensed my jaw. I did things with my face even, subtly, but they were there that didn't need to happen. Now, as I, if I were to do four or five of those reps, I would, that stuff would start to get worse if I didn't really consciously not engage those things. So if I do this set and I go like that, I keep going, you see my, my, my face is doing, moving my, you know, doing this, I'm doing, there's all sorts of things happening, you know, and, and then you'll see guys even, even lifting weights that are like, <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you know, I've, I've definitely been there as stuff gets more and more tough. You're trying to get that last rep in and you're bringing in all sorts of other things that you don't need to be bringing in. This is a huge parallel to our voice. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to give myself just a little break to loosen up. I'm going to try to do just four uh, repetitions of this, of this exercise. And I'm going to consciously, rather than focusing on the muscles that I'm using to get the weight up, I'm going to be thinking about those things, but I'm really going to be thinking about everything else that I need to relax. And then just feeling the sensation of the muscles that I'm trying to target actually get tired. Let me say that again. I'm going to think about and picture everything else that has a tendency to get involved and making sure that those things are, are released, that they're calm, while in the back of my mind also just resting in the sensation of the muscles that I'm targeting being worked. Okay, let's try this again. That might mean that my jaw needs to be super, you know, like this. Oh, huh. That means that, you know, I actually might be needing to lean back a little bit so I'm, I'm not using my back muscles as much. It means that I might need to kind of bobble head a little bit in order to make sure that I'm not um, getting my neck involved in this sort of ancillary way. Okay. And it also means that I'm going to need to pay attention to how fast I do the reps. Stay with me here. This really is a key. It was definitely key for me in realizing how to sing the same way. Okay. So bobblehead. Where is everything, where's the potential for tension and how can I make sure and not involve those muscles while feeling the sensation of the targeted muscles being worked?
easier on the way up than it is on the way down. Constant state of release. I'm going to go. Oh, tension in the back of my neck. That was much better. I'm going to go till I, not till I am failing, but I'm going to go pretty, pretty close. Yes, this one's pretty hard. Stay loose. Stay loose. Don't tense. Let it down slowly. Hold it for a little while. Take inventory on my tension. Yeah, I can be really relaxed everywhere else except for those shoulders. I guarantee you that if you do this with even one strength training exercise and really pay attention to what else you're bringing into the fold and then do it again while consciously making sure that you're not bringing anything else to the fold, the next time that you go to sing, you're going to be way more conscious of other things that you're bringing into the mix that you don't need to be. Your voice is a set of muscles. It's in your body. It's an instrument that's in your body. And so by learning how things work around your whole body, you can bring that mindset to your singing. Singing should be a whole body experience, a holistic experience, but that doesn't mean that we allow unnecessary muscles, muscle movements, action, and tension to be brought in when we're singing. Everything needs to have its proper place and proper role. And I want to also say this, particularly to those singing aggressively. There is an intensity that happens when we sing loudly and with distortion and high in our mix or we're screaming. There is an intensity that happens. And there is, uh, by default, tension that creeps in and tension that just exists and needs to exist. But there's a big difference between ancillary tension and needed muscles to fuel a certain level of intensity. And that takes practice and a certain amount of body awareness over time to figure that out. So like usual, let's do some singing. I have a track called up. I'm just going to mumble, sing, ooh, ah, do some vowels over this track. And I'm going to be conscious of that same weightlifting mentality. How can everything else in my body kind of do this and only the muscles that I need be present and active in my singing? And this is a question that you have to ask yourself dynamically. Again, you're feeling the sensation of your resonance, your support. If you, again, if you need help dialing this stuff in and getting this stuff in the right order with the right feels, click the link below and join my free vocal course. Let's practice. Hey! La 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 I, I am loose. I am loose. I I 
see the sky, I see the sky. I see the sky, I see the sky, I see the I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel